This has been my dream to come to New Zealand. I don't know what to do, but we have to get home. We did try to check into our flight and it said there's issues with our ticket. I might be worrying a little bit. We are home and we are safe. We had a slight bit of a problem. Back to reality. Hey guys, it's Monday and we made the executive decision yesterday to find an earlier flight home. We've been getting lots of warnings uh, from people at home and keep checking Twitter and keep checking, well you guys keep actually messaging me saying you better get home. So we went online yesterday morning when we were at uh, Corgan's and Ruth's and there's two seats left. I stopped breathing for a little bit and then realized uh, I guess it doesn't matter the price of the ticket, we have to get home. So now they've got uh, everyone that's been traveling internationally in Canada has to do a self-quarantine for two weeks. So now I've on, been on the phone texting Jess. She's not sure where she should go. So now I'm, I don't know what to do. It's, it's, uh, this has been my dream to come to New Zealand. And luckily we stayed for most of the time, but we are leaving early and that's kind of a shame but at least we got to see quite a few people that we wanted to see and uh, I never got to visit a sheep farm, never really, we only got to visit really Corrigan's farm for the most part, so a little bit disappointed. Um, however, right now we are just on a mission to get home, uh, to stay healthy, and uh, we'll keep you posted, but yeah, we, uh, we are heading down to Christchurch to actually catch a different plane home. So Christchurch, Brisbane, Vancouver, Toronto is the plan for now. I'm just hoping the airports aren't crazy and we're not even sure who to get to pick us up. So it's quite a thing.
like one of four. And it's a full one. We're in Brisbane. So, one, two, three more flights. Two more. Brisbane to Vancouver, Vancouver to Toronto. Two more. Why was I thinking there was four? There was only three. We made it home late last night. Was it? Well, it wasn't late. It was like 6.30, 7 o'clock? Yeah, it felt late to me because I didn't sleep on the plane. I kind of just powered through because I knew when we got home it would be evening and I could just go to bed. So I just have woke up from the longest sleep I've ever had, which was 12 hours. Finished our first coffee and I'm just realizing now why the Australia New Zealanders, when they came to visit us, kind of said, Oh, I'm more of a tea drinker. No, they're coffee drinkers, but our coffee is garbage compared to theirs. So that's disappointing. And now we might have to go on Amazon and get an espresso get an, or cappuccino machine. Get, a, get an espresso machine. So we are home and we are safe. And the kids were very happy to see us. They picked us up uh, outside the airport. Uh, Jess, Jack, and Lauren came to get us. They will be in self-isolation as well. So they were like, we might as well come get you. Uh, otherwise, we didn't really know how we were going to get home. So they were, I think they were happy to see us. They had supper cooking when we got home. They made pavlova for dessert. Well, when I say they, I mean Lauren. We're gonna enjoy another cup of coffee and then I wanna go see my sheep for the first time. What are you doing today? I'm gonna go pet my tractors. You're gonna go pet your tractors? Yeah, I, Mark's, miss, I miss my tractors. Mark's gonna say hi to his tractors. I'm gonna say hi to my sheep. So we've been home for a day or so. And uh, first day home, had a slight bit of a problem. Our septic was full and blew out the wall and was on the floor. So the first day home, we had to call the pumper guy. Oh God, it still smells in there. Wah. Also had some time to mulch the leaves so all the fall work basically is getting done in the spring I wanted to get that done before the rain we got a pile of rain this morning hi Duke and subject number two this is the second time it's been done in a few years so hopefully everything will be draining well now someone missed mommy so yeah, we've lost most of our snow. I think the last time I was with you guys here, this was covered in snow. A lot of wet, a lot of rain. Sight for sore eyes. I'm sure you guys are in withdrawal, as am I. All right, back to reality. It's windy. Rained. The ladies, some of them are starting to bag up. They're getting ready. So these guys are due April 6th. So we do have a couple weeks of prep, which is nice. It gives me a chance just to get over this wicked jet lag and uh, get the barn and the pen set up. It doesn't look like she's used a whole lot of straw, so I think we'll be able to get away with not having to clean it out again. But I'll have to, I'll have to see what it's like in a week or so. 
And then these are the ladies that... Who are you? I don't even remember who's who. Yeah, these are the guys that got weaned. So they'll be bred next month. I will have to do an evaluation on these guys in the next couple weeks. Now, we have an issue with one of these boys. Where is he? He's marked with red back there by the water. Way back there. Uh, Chris had just noticed him this morning. I noticed him yesterday, not looking great. His eyes were watery and his ears were droopy and he's just not looking good today. He looks really sad. So I gave him a shot of antibiotic this morning. I'm not sure if I'm dealing with pneumonia or something else. Um, so we will see with him. Might not hurt to give him a painkiller too. Just to get him feeling better sometimes with the sheep. They can overcome a lot if they feel like eating. If they feel like eating, they can build their strength back up. Oh. Hi. Did you miss mommy? You wonder why your sons are so sweet. Oh, you're so nice. Well, someone misses me. Other than that, I had a U uh, abort, which sucks. She is a 2018 U, and I remember I had a handful. I usually only give them two chances at conceiving, and I remember there was a there was only four or five left that missed the second time, and I'm like, oh, I'm not using cedars. I'm not spending a lot of money to to actually make them have babies again so it's like maybe I'll just give her give them one more chance and most of them caught so my only issue is I give a chlamydia vaccine to all my ewes um, that first year and then they're supposed to get an annual booster that handful that I gave the first vaccine to they missed that breeding they missed the second breeding and then the third breeding I just threw them in I totally forgot about that whole booster and they probably likely should have had it. So I am a little bit concerned if she is one of the ones that uh, wasn't vaccinating, that could be why she aborted. So I just have to make sure it doesn't spread and go to the rest of the, I think there was only four or five in this group. I'd have to really go over my numbers and it might not even be her, but uh, it's just, it's just a bit of a shock to the system when I'm trying to get back into the swing of things in here. I, it's just not what I wanted to see my first, basically my first day back, second day back. Other than that, Carissa and the girls have done an amazing job. The barn is spick and span and uh, everybody's so quiet, not the wind apparently. Um, I'm, I gotta be honest, I'm, I did really well flying over there to New Zealand. Uh, I didn't have any jet lag going over. I slept on the plane really good. On the way back, uh, has not been good. I've, I, uh, the first night I slept okay because I didn't sleep the whole plane ride. So I was up for probably 28 hours or something like that, or 30 hours. So I slept really good the first night. And then uh, the second night I didn't sleep at all till like five in the morning. And then last night I was just so anxious that I wasn't gonna sleep that I was another like 2.30 I think before I fell asleep on the couch. So just not feeling great. So I'm very thankful Chris has been uh, off school and she's been looking after this. I'm basically treating this week as still my holidays. Today was the real day I was supposed to fly home. I'm just taking the time right now to kind of get alive again because I'm feeling without sleep I am the worst person I shouldn't even be vlogging because you guys don't need to see but I'm just trying to be real with you and it's I don't do well this is why I don't travel a whole lot because if I go into different time zones I stress and worry and I don't sleep so anyways hoping next week will be a better week. The kids are quarantined, we're quarantined, so it's been one big happy family, and actually it's been fun. Lauren's been with us, so it's uh, it's different. You don't realize, I don't think we realize in our world right now how busy we are and how little time we spend with our loved ones. So this has been a really nice, being away for 10 days and then coming home and being with my kids has been actually really, really nice. Uh, and it just makes me realize how much I don't get to hang out with them uh, especially now that they're flying the coop right so anyways I hope everyone's doing okay this this virus is scary I've never seen anything in it uh, like in my lifetime I'm sure 
I'm sure our, even our parents and our grandparents maybe can relate it to war time, but it's a little bit scary, a little bit unnerving, and I'm just so happy I work from home and I have this place to retreat to because for my mental health, I, I really depend on it. So it's gonna be a busy, a busy few weeks coming up, so I'm just taking the time right now to just uh, just regain some strength and, and rest. I hope you guys are doing okay.